Hi, my name is Josh Kruger, and I'm a neuro-ophthalmologist at Adassa Medical Center in Jerusalem. I'd like to present to you a pilot study that we've conducted to explore a novel method for visual field assessment for patients with unilateral, severely limited central vision. Let's consider what a patient experiences as they undergo a visual field assessment. A stimuli are presented in the patient's peripheral visual field. They are asked to maintain focus on a central fixation light. But what if the patient's central vision is so poor that they can't see the central fixation target? The eye will continuously drift, and this will greatly compromise the reliability of the visual field mapping. In my clinic, there are a number of patients with eyes that require continuous monitoring due to persisting conditions such as recurrent optic neuritis or an intracranial tumor that is at risk to compress the optic nerve. Unfortunately, these eyes have already lost central vision and attempts at conventional visual field testing have been futile. Our goal is to develop a method of reliably performing a visual field test for these patients using available equipment. We hypothesize that this may be achievable with two simple modifications. First of all, rather than administering the test with a white stimulus, we can use a red stimulus, a choice already available on Humphrey analyzers for plaquenil toxicity screening. The second modification relates to the way in which the non-tested eye is occluded. Rather than using an opaque occluder, we can use a translucent green filter, such as that which is found in red green glasses. While the yellow central fixation target is visible through the green filter, the red test stimuli are completely filtered out and therefore invisible to the non-tested eye. Thus, the non-tested eye is able to fixate on a central target but only the tested eye can appreciate the test stimuli. Since the non-test eye is immobilized because it is fixating on the central target, the tested eye will also be immobilized, thereby improving the test reliability. In this pilot study, we found that our novel strategy was associated with a marked reduction in fixation losses. The amount of eye movement recorded through gaze tracking was also markedly reduced. Lastly, we found that the novel method could more precisely define the location of preserved peripheral vision. We conclude that this strategy merits further exploration and development. Thank you for your attention.